So do you like this homemade soya beans meal for babies? Then join me in the kitchen as we make it. Babies love this. Right now the aroma has filled my nose. I love the taste. I love to eat it too with my babies. You can make it this thick for older babies and lighter for younger babies. Let's start cooking right now. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share this video. Leave me a comment too while we go cooking. Let's start. And get and grow really big and robust. So right now we are going to start. I'm going to first of all peel the plantains then show you how to roast them for the plantain sometimes i dry them in the sun like I chop into very very flat pieces that can dry easily and spread out in the sun but today because of this video i don't want to take a lot of our time i will just bake them in the oven so we are going to start with the plantains right now So, I'm done cutting the plantain into flat shapes and pieces to be dried. Have you subscribed? If you have, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. And if you haven't yet subscribed, please click on the subscribe button down there. Click on it and there is a bell beside it. Click on that bell too to enable you start getting notifications when we post or upload videos like this. Please don't forget to subscribe, like this video, share it, and leave a comment. Leave a comment for me. Now, I'm going to put them in the oven to dry. This is my baking pan. I just cover it with foil. plantain is much but by the time it's dry and blended it won't be this much anymore the sun can be used if you live where there's sunlight right now it's rainy season here in Abuja and the weather is not hot at all it rains daily here so there's no sun we'll make use of the oven to dry this you can dry in the sun I'm going to put this now in the oven to dry so, I first of all put my gari down there. I've said it why I'm putting this gari. This is from cassava. Semolina or semovita can be used, or salt. Even salt can be placed like this on the bottom of the pot to prevent our peanuts or soya beans from burning up. I'm going to use this one for the crayfish. There's no need for covering the bottom. So this is our groundnut, the soya beans, and then the crayfish, I'll just leave it very, very low. This will toast really, really fast. I just want to dry up the crayfish a bit more and to get some flavor, some roasted flavor from the crayfish. So that one doesn't need any much heat. Then for the peanuts and the soya beans, this is what we'll do until they turn brown. So just keep stirring until they turn brown. The crayfish is dry already. It's very, very dry right now. So I'll just leave it to cool before we blend it easily into powder. This dried crayfish right now has that toasted flavor that my baby loves. So we'll keep it aside and then face the Soya beans and the ground nuts are still cooking. This will continue stirring until they brown. And once they are brown, I'll take off the skin of both the ground nuts and the soya beans or soy bean or soya beans. 
or whatever you call it, is still soybeans. This is getting hot really fast, so I'll take it, I'll take down the heat, okay? Just continue to stir low heat. I'll just keep doing this. They don't take time at all to brown. When they are brown, that means they are ready for blending, but we have to peel off the skin and then let them completely cool down. I'm making one cup of soya beans and one cup of ground nut with just a tablespoon of crayfish. I'll leave the, the quantity of the ingredients in the description box below. So I'm going to type out the quantity in the description box below. When it's dry, we'll also know the quantity of the plantain I'm using. You can make as much as you want and keep in airtight containers for as long as three months. These can be kept for up to three months for your baby to enjoy. I keep them for that long. If you have airtight containers, to so just lock them in and prevent air from getting them bad. So the gary that is covering the bottom of the pot is turning brown already. When you see the gary turning brown like this, that is when I check to see if my ingredients are brown enough. So I'll just check on the peanuts now. So how do I know if it's ready? It's not yet ready. It's not yet brown enough. It's not yet brown enough. So. And then for the soya beans, how do I know if it's ready to make for my baby food? It's turning brown. It's even browning faster than the peanuts. So the plantain is in the oven and keeping an eye on it. Have you subscribed already? If you haven't, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and leave a comment. Please help us take this ministry forward. Help us grow the ministry. By subscribing, you're helping grow this ministry so we can continue to upload videos that will help feed our babies and help them grow stronger. We know that homemade baby food is the best. This baby meal we are making right now can be served as a complete meal to your baby. And sometimes I also use it as an accompanying meal I add to baby pap and feed the baby. It helps give good taste to baby pap on its own it has very very good taste so in just a moment everything will be brown you can see what we use to cover the pot is already very brown if you use salt it will give you the same result if you use same ovita you get the same result just to prevent your ingredients from burning we are going to filter and take out what we don't need the only thing we need here is just the groundnut and the soya bean. The soya bean is browning really fast. Our groundnut is not yet brown. While the peanuts are not yet very brown, our soya beans is really, really brown. I've checked. So I'm going to take it off the fire. I'm going to take it off the heat. You can see the soya bean very brown right now. And then separate the gary from the beans. Let it cool completely before I blend. You know, these ingredients I'm using, my kids love them, my babies don't react to them, but honestly, some children react to all or some of these peanuts, soya beans, and crayfish. Some kids react, and if you or your husband reacts to any of these, please do not even use them to try on your babies. If you react to peanuts, then don't add it. If your child reacts to any of these ingredients, you can leave it, leave it completely, don't use it at all. If your child reacts to crayfish, do not add crayfish to this meal and you can still make something nutritious for the baby without the crayfish. It will still taste really good. So don't forget that kids are different, our bodies are different, our babies too are different. My children don't react, but another child might react to. We have to watch what we react to and do not feed that to our babies. So I'm going to let this cool completely. Then we take off the skin and blend while we wait for the plantain and the peanuts to get ready. So you can see this is the gary we use. It's not burnt at all, but it's very brown. 
Now ice on the peanuts and the plantain in the oven that is drying up there. It has to dry up very well so it can be ground into powder. Our, our peanuts are browning. We have to wait until they are very well cooked. And then, like I said earlier, this can be stored in airtight containers for three months. I make these when I make large quantities, I store for three months and you can do that to save time. We'll wait a bit for this to cook. So the peanuts are brown. Let's see. They're brown, you can see. So we just separate from the gar in the pot and then let them cool off completely before I take off the skin. Oh, that's the tongue of the heat. If I take off the skin and blend into powder. So you see about the gary from the peanuts. Our homemade baby cereal ingredients are all ready. What is left is cleaning up and blending. I just brought out the plantains from my oven. You can see they are very, very dry. You can hear the sound. You can hear the breaking sound. The plantains are dry. So what I'm going to do now is to let them cool off completely and then blend into powder. I'll pick out the burnt ones. These burnt ones are not going to be part of the baby homemade cereal, no. We are taking them off and then blending only the good ones. So for ground nuts, it's very easy. With my hands, I can just break and blow off the skin. But for the soya beans, I'll need the help of a food processor or a food blender. Just pour them in, use the pause button and get out everything while food is ready. It doesn't take time at all. Homemade baby food is easy. Please subscribe right now. Subscribe so we can continue uploading this type of videos for you. Subscribe, leave us a comment. Let me read your comment, please. Let me just know that, yes, somebody actually watched this video. Leave a comment, like, and share the video, please. Okay, that is the soya bean. I'm going to put it in the blender. A food processor can do this too. And sometimes I actually do buy roasted peanuts and use. Roasted peanuts, already made <laughs> roasted peanuts are sold at supermarkets and even at the open market. So there are granite sellers all over the place. You can actually buy roasted peanuts and use. I'm making from scratch because I want to really show you that it can be done and that sometimes I make at home. That's why I'm making my food. So that is it. Just pulse one, two, three times. You can see the skin is off without blending. The skin, see, the blender has helped us. Let me pack them out with my hands. Can you see? We just blow the shaft out right now and it's ready for blending. The plantain is like biscuits. It has to dry and become like biscuits. No moisture inside this plantain. Then eh? it just mix everything together and blend. Is it blended? So I'm going to just blend everything. My grinder is very small, so I'm blending in batches. And when I'm done, I'll show you the end result. So I'm done blending. Here is our homemade baby food using soya bean, ground nuts, dried plantains, and crayfish. This is it. 
what is left now is just to mix with warm water and feed the baby the aroma here is wonderful the taste is good too and babies love it this you can see the two colors this is lighter because i used more plantains and it's more powdery without plantain it might cake up so it's very important that you add the dried plantains to read so this is our food ready for the baby so all i'm going to do is mix a little bit of warm water if i'm feeding the baby like a meal make it as thick or as light as your baby would love it and feed the baby and then if you're adding it to pap just a teaspoon to a bowl of pap is okay and your baby will really really enjoy it this is thick but a, a baby that is up to a year can eat this thick one but I would advise that you make it lighter, make it light for the baby. Do you know <laughs> you can enjoy this too? Even older kids can be served this baby food. It's very nutritious. It's a very, very balanced meal. Have you subscribed already? Don't forget to subscribe, like, share and leave a comment.